Andrew Luck is one of the NFL's biggest what-ifs. Drafted number one overall to the Colts and instantly came the best quarterback of his draft class. But sadly, it all came to a halt after suffering injuries more and more frequently. So on August 24th, 2019, Andrew Luck decided to retire at the young age of 29. But what if we could revive his career and hit that reset button? Well, today, we can. But before I get into that, less than 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you could go down and smash that sub button, and let's try to get this video to 20 likes, that would mean the world to me. And also, let me know in the comments down below whose career you want me to revive next. Let's go. Andrew Luck coming into the league for a second time as a rookie is a 75 overall with 92 throw power and 82 across the board for accuracies. So today, we're going to simulate his first season, and at the end of each season, we're going to spin a wheel and see how we can make him better. In his first season, he was able to take the Falcons to the playoffs, but not only that, get them a first round bye. So let's take a look at his stats. In his first season, he threw for 5,259 yards, 48 touchdowns to only 10 interceptions. That is an amazing rookie season. And let's see if he's able to carry the Falcons to a playoff win. In the divisional, they are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So let's see if Andrew Luck has what it takes to take them to the conference championship in his first season. And they lose 31 to 24, but let's sim to the end of the season and see what awards he won. Sadly, he wasn't able to get MVP, but he was able to get Rookie of the Year, which should help his dev trait, which means he will progress faster. Now it's time to spin the wheel to see how we can make him even better so he has the best career possible. But don't be fooled, some of the things on this wheel are bad for his career, but let's hope we don't land on them for our first wheel spin. And it looks like it's gonna land on plus one break sack right stay ah plus two overall so that'll really help him for his second season but let's go give him his plus two overall before we do that in his first season he was able to get himself up to a 79 overall with star development so let's get him up to an 81 i upgrade him up to an 81 and he is looking like a really good quarterback so let's see what he can do in season number two the falcons go six and eleven in his second season which is a huge fall off from the first one but let's look at his stats. It looks like six and 11 is what you go when you throw 5,500 yards, 47 touchdowns to 17 interceptions. I know it's a higher interception number, but I feel like they should have won a couple more games. But let's see if he was able to win MVP. And it looks like he just missed out on MVP once again, losing to Russell Wilson and coming in fourth. But let's go to the wheel and see how we can make him better for his third season. So let's spin the wheel. And it looks like we're going to land on plus two overall once again, which, I mean, what can you say? That's a really good wheel spin for him. He's an 84 right now, still has star development, but let's get him up to an 86. This is what his stats are looking like going into his third season. And he's looking like a really solid player. So let's see what he can do. It looks like he's able to help bring them back to the playoffs going 12 and 5. But let's take a look at his stats. It looks like there's a significant dip in his passing yards, only going for 4,600, but he has 50 touchdowns to only six interceptions. Now that is a really, really good season, but let's see if he's able to beat the Giants. They're only 10 and seven, so they look very beatable, but let's see if Andrew Luck is able to pull it off. And he isn't, he loses 42 to 32. So let's go to the wheel and see how we can get him better. Let's see what we get. And it looks like we're going to land on negative two throw on the run. So this is one of those ones that make him worse, sadly. But we'll see how well he can do with negative two throw on the run. I forgot to show it off, but he won 2025 best quarterback for the NFC. But let's get him that negative two throw on the run. So here we are. We're going to take it down two overalls. It makes him... A little bit worse of a scrambler but that's not really his specialty so I don't think it will affect him too much but let's see what he's able to do in year number four Andrew Luck is able to help get the Falcons to a 13 and 4 season 
But let's take a look at his stats and see if he showed off for his final year of his contract. It looks like he didn't show off too much, but he still had a very good season, but not as good as his previous ones, only throwing for 4,700 yards, 42 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. But the biggest thing is winning playoff games, and let's see if he's able to do that. We're up against the 9 and 8 49ers, but it looks like they're pretty good for only being 9 and 8. So let's see if we're able to beat them and make it to the divisional for the second time or the third time. And we do. We make it to the divisional, and now we're going to go against the Minnesota Vikings. And they're also a really decent looking team, but they only did go 11 and 6. So let's see if we're able to beat them. We do. We're going against the Panthers in the conference championship, a little bit of an NFC South rivalry. And as a Panthers fan, sadly, I do want to see my Panthers go down, but let's hope we can make it to the Super Bowl. And we don't. The Panthers win it 38 to 17. So let's go to the wheel and see how we can get Andrew Luck even better. So let's spin the wheel and see what we land on. Hopefully it's something good this time because he can't get much worse. And it looks like it's gonna be plus three awareness, which is really good for a quarterback. But the biggest thing is seeing where he resigns to. And it looks like Andrew Luck wanted to stay a Falcon, signing a, a five-year, $104 million deal. But let's give him his plus three awareness and see what he can do right now he's at a 91 for awareness so we're gonna bump him up all the way to a 94 and let's see what that is what that does to his overall it looks like he goes up to a 92 but he still only has star development so next wheel spin let's pray that we get a dev upgrade in year number five andrew luck is able to take them back to the playoffs with a 10 and 7 record and he threw for 4759 yards 43 touchdowns to only 10 interceptions. So he's a remarkable player, but let's see if he's able to win playoff games. The Vikings are also 10 and seven. So we were able to beat them last year, but let's see if we're able to beat them this year and make it to the divisional. And we do 29 to 27. And now we're going against the Panthers who we lost to last year, but let's hope and pray that we're able to beat them this year to make it to the conference championship. And we do 49 to 31. And it looks like we have another NFC South rivalry going on in the conference championship. So let's see if we're finally able to make it to the Super Bowl and get Andrew Luck his first ring. And we lose 30 to 27 to the Saints. So let's go to the wheel and see what we can do. So here we are. Let's spin and see what we can get. Hopefully it makes him better. And also hopefully we can get a dev trait. And it looks like we're going to get negative one to the entire O-line. That's a really sucky one to get because it doesn't just hurt him more, but it also hurts the team. So sadly, we have to take all these offensive linemen down one overall. And after taking them all down one dev trait, this is what the team is looking like. But the good thing is, Andrew Luck is now up to a superstar dev. So let's see what he can do in season number six. Sadly, Andrew Luck was not able to bring the Falcons to the playoff in his sixth season. He went nine and eight, which is still a winning record, but just not good enough in the NFC South. He threw for 4,894 yards, only 29 touchdowns, which is much, much worse than he has in previous years, and 12 interceptions, which is also kind of high for him in previous years. So it looks like he had a down season with his worst O-line, but let's see if he can upgrade in the wheel. So here we are spinning the wheel, and we're going to see what he gets Hopefully he can get better because it didn't look like, and it looks like it's just going to land on no change. So we're going to go into the next season without anything happening. So this is what he's looking like going into his seventh season. And this is the season that he retired in. So this is finally going to be starting basically where his career left off. And I think it's been really well so far based on how his real career happened. But let's see what he can do in his seventh season, which he didn't play in the real NFL. It looks like another poor season from the Falcons, only going 6-11 and and missing out on the playoffs. Andrew Luck threw for 4,889 yards, 37 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. It's another low season for Andrew Luck, but hopefully he's able to pick it up after we give him another wheel spin. So let's spin the wheel and see what he gets. Hopefully it's something good, like I say every time, but he hasn't been having the best seasons, so plus two to O-line, to o if I could speak, that'd be great, but 
that's going to basically bump up his O-line one overall from what they were when they got bumped down. So this is what the O-line is looking like before they get their plus two overalls. And here's what they're looking like after their plus two overall upgrades. So let's see what we can do in year number eight. It's crazy what plus two to an O-line overall can do for the team. They go 13 and four. And Andrew Luck has another incredible season throwing for almost 5,300 yards, 51 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. He's looking better already, and all I did was change the O-line. But like always, we have to face an NFC South team in the playoffs, so let's see if we're able to beat the Bucks to make it to the conference championship. And Andrew Luck doesn't get it done again. He loses 34-28 to to the Buccaneers, so let's go to the wheel and see if hopefully we can get another O-line upgrade. So let's spin the wheel and see what we can get, and hopefully we're getting an O-line upgrade. And it looks like it's going to be negative one to throw power, which hopefully it doesn't change him that much. But let's see. I completely missed this. He won most valuable player in 2030. So last season he won MVP finally, but sadly I didn't catch it. But let's take a look at his stats before we give him his one less throw power. So right now he's at 99 throw power. So he'll go down to 98, but he's still a 97 overall. And he finally got Superstar X Factor, but he is 29. And 30 plus is sometimes when players start to regress, but he does have 98 throw power. It doesn't change his overall at all. So let's see what he can do in year number nine. They only go nine and eight, but they still are able to make the playoffs. And Andrew Luck throws for 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. It's not the best season from him, but they still made the playoffs and that's what counts. But let's see if we're able to beat the Falcons. I mean, <laughs> we're the Falcons. Oh, this has been a long day. It's hot in my room. But let's see if we're able to beat the Cowboys no matter what. And we are 52 to 14 so let's see if we can beat the chicago bears they're 11 and 6 they look like a really solid team and obviously have been playing well and we do 35 to 28 it's the battle of the 9 and 8 teams in the conference championships and this is another rematch of the panthers versus the falcons in the conference championship for like six years ago so let's see if we can do it and we do we finally make a super bowl in year nine i think it is or ten it's year nine. I'm tripping. It's been take a while to make this video because someone called me in the middle of it and it took like 20 minutes. But we're going against the 15 and two Kansas City Chiefs. So let's see if Andrew Luck is able to beat them. It would be a surprise. And I uh, cross your fingers. We do 35 to 33. We win a Super Bowl and we have 103 million in salary cap. What do we not? Why are we not using that on our defense? Our defense was like an 81 overall at the beginning of the year, but we finally get a Super Bowl. So let's go to the wheel and see if we can add on top of that. So now that we're out with the wheel, let's spin it and see who we get or what we get. And it looks like we're going to get negative one to break sack another regressing stat. But he's already so good, even these little negative one break sacks don't change his career all that much. So at 30 years old, Andrew Luck is a 98 overall with Superstar X Factor, but his break sack is going to go down to 83. So let's change that real quick. And there we go. He is now down to an 83 break sack. And in the offseason, he signed a six year, $160 million deal to be here until 2037. So let's speed things up and see how well he's able to do year after year. Andrew Luck is able to help the Falcons go 13-4 and four while throwing for 4,900 yards, 43 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. So now let's see if we're able to beat the Arizona Cardinals in the playoffs for the first time. I think that's the first time we ever played them. And we do 24-7. to seven. Now we get to go against the Philadelphia Eagles who are only 8-9 and nine, but somehow managed to make the playoffs. They have a good roster. But it isn't enough. The Falcons win 42 to 28. We're making it to back to pack Super Bowls. So let's see if we can win one. And hopefully we do. The Jets are 12 and 5. Brees Hall is their best player. Cross your fingers. Can Andrew Luck pull out another one? And crud. He does. 49 to 35. The Falcons win back to back Super Bowls.
We've hit the point in his career where he is now regressing. He's 31 years old, a 97 overall, and has two Super Bowls under his belt. So we're not spinning the wheel for him anymore. We're just going to keep simming season after season, and I'll show you what he does. In year 11, Andrew Luck throws for 4,490 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Ironically, he does lose his chance at a 3 P in the Super Bowl to the Colts, which is Andrew Luck's old team. Going into his 12th year, he has regressed all the way down to a 95 overall. He throws for 4,933 yards, 46 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. And he is able to win his third Super Bowl, going beating the Bills 31 to 28. In year number 13, he has regressed down to a 93 overall, but he still has Superstar X Factor. They missed out on the playoffs, but Andrew Luck threw for 4,800 yards, 40 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. Going into year 14, he takes one of the biggest step downs that we've seen so far and loses 4 overalls and goes down to Superstar Dev. They miss the playoffs again, only going 7 and 10. He throws for 4,947 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. Andrew Luck takes another massive deduction in overall. He's down to an 85, but still has Superstar as his dev trait. The Falcons make the playoffs, but lose to the Rams in the wild card, 49 to 21. With Andrew Luck throwing for 4,800 yards, 47 touchdowns to nine interceptions. Going into year number 16, he has hit another massive hit to his overall. He's down to an 80 overall and has only star dev. The Falcons missed the playoffs going only eight and nine. But Andrew Luck still throws for 5,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, but to 18 interceptions. Not his best showing. Going into year 17, Andrew Luck is looking worse than ever at a 73 overall in normal development. That is worse than when he came into the league. The Falcons miss out on the playoffs again going 7 and 10. But even at a 73 overall, Andrew Luck is still throwing for 4,770 yards, 36 touchdowns, but he does have 19 interceptions. Going into year number 18, Andrew Luck is a 68 overall with normal dev. It's not looking good for him, but let's see what numbers he can put up. We were able to make the playoffs, but we lose to the Buccaneers 23 to 17. Andrew Luck goes 4,949 yards, 38 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. And it looks like he's regressed to the point where he is just the backup now to assist their younger quarterback, Brian Hanks. And after 20 years of playing football, Andrew Luck decided to hang up the cleats, winning three Super Bowls, and he had four NFC championships. Andrew Luck is third all-time for passing yards in his career, and he's also second all-time for passing touchdowns in his career.